A lot of these cultural crimes I've been complaining about can be blamed on the baby boomers. Something else I'm a little tired of hearing about. The baby boomers. Whiny, narcissistic, self-indulgent people with a simple philosophy. Give me it, it's mine! <laughs> Give me that, it's mine! These people were given everything. Everything was handed to them. And they took it all, took it all. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and they stayed loaded for 20 years and had a free ride. But now they're staring down the barrel of middle-aged burnout, and they don't like it. They don't like it, so they've turned self-righteous. And they want to make things hard on younger people. They tell them, abstain from sex. Say no to drugs. As for the rock and roll, they sold that for television commercials a long time ago. So they could buy pasta machines, and Stairmasters, and soybean futures. Soybean futures. You know something? They're cold, bloodless people. It's in their slogans, it's in their rhetoric. No pain, no gain. Just do it. Life is short, play hard. Shit happens, deal with it. Get a life. These people went from do your own thing to just say no. They went from love is all you need to whoever winds up with the most toys wins. And they went from cocaine to Rogaine. And you know something? They're still counting grams, only now it's fat grams. <laughs> and the worst of it is, the rest of us have to watch these commercials on TV for Levi's loose-fitting jeans and fat-ass docker pants. <laughs> because these degenerate, yuppie, boomer cocksuckers couldn't keep their hands off the croissants and the haagen -Dazs. And their big fat asses have spread all over and they have to wear fat-ass docker pants. <laughs> Fuck these boomers! Fuck these yuppies! And fuck everybody, now that I think of it. <laughs> well, sometimes in comedy you have to generalize. Now, there's one thing you might have noticed I don't complain about. Politicians. Everybody complains about politicians. Everybody says they suck. Well, where do people think these politicians come from? They don't fall out of the sky. They don't pass through a membrane from another reality. They come from American parents and American families, American homes, American schools, American churches, American businesses, and American universities, and they're elected by American citizens. This is the best we can do, folks. This is what we have to offer. It's what our system produces. Garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> If you have selfish, ignorant citizens, if you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. And term limits ain't going to be any good. You're just going to wind up with a brand new bunch of selfish, ignorant Americans. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the politicians who suck. Maybe something else sucks around here, like the public. Yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. Because if it's really just the fault of these politicians, then where are all the other bright people of conscience? Where are all the bright, honest, intelligent Americans ready to step in and save the nation and lead the way? We don't have people like that in this country. Everybody's at the mall, scratching his ass, picking his nose, taking his credit card out of his fanny pack and buying a pair of sneakers with lights in them. <laughs> So I have solved this little political dilemma for myself in a very simple way. On election day, I stay home. I don't vote. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't vote. Two reasons. Two reasons I don't vote. First of all, it's meaningless. This country was bought and sold and paid for a long time ago. The shit they shuffle around every four years... <laughs> ...doesn't mean a fucking thing. And secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. People like to twist that around, I know. They say, they say, well, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. But where's the logic in that? If you vote and you elect dishonest, incompetent people and they get into office and screw everything up, well, you are responsible for what they have done. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. I, on the other hand, who did not vote, who did not vote, who in fact, 
did not even leave the house on election day. I'm in no way responsible for what these people have done and have every right to complain as loud as I want about the mess you created that I had nothing to do with. So I know that a little later on this year, you're going to have another one of those really swell presidential elections that you like so much. You'll enjoy yourselves. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure as soon as the election is over, your country will improve immediately. As for me, I'll be home on that day doing essentially the same thing as you. The only difference is when I get finished masturbating, I'm going to have a little something to show for it, folks. Thank you very much.